All right, all right, all right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Uh, got to also, I, I think I should call this training up too. Uh, first of all, there are a few things that all of us, especially those of us, if, you, you, if you're in my generation, uh, I consider my generation, um, anybody within, I, I just, I guess you could say 10 years. Um, so uh, somewhere along in there. So, but anyway, um, None of us are perfect. Now, that is not an admission of guilt. That is a statement of fact. The trouble, the problems, and the issues we're having today are also those people who are very imperfect trying to judge others who are also not perfect because they are not perfect as if they themselves are the champions of perfection. That's the, that's the problem we're having today. That's the hypocrisy that we're having today. You know, that's the reason why it's important for us with the little small space of time that we're allotted here on this earth. It's very important for us um, to do what we can to build healthy relationships. If it's possible, live at peace with people. If it's possible, because the truth is, some people it's just totally impossible to carry on a relationship, a healthy relationship. You just simply cannot do it. Uh, so your best course of action um, is to actually divest yourself of that situation, remove yourself from that situation, and live at peace. Because you, there's people that you just simply cannot be at peace with. Now, in my generation, and it should have been the attitude of every successive generation, um, the people who come before me should have spent more time, putting more time, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding into us so that we could better the generation that's coming after us. But what you see in this generation is, is the same thing you see in last generation where everybody is selfish, self-centered, self-focused, and they're all about preserving only themselves. And they're not about doing what they can in order to train up and to raise up children that are going to be the heads of the next generation uh, the right way. So... You know, I could have simply avoided a lot of mistakes that I made in the past if I simply had wise counsel when I was younger. But I didn't have a lot of wise counsel at all. Um, matter of fact, and that's the reason why that today, um, the, the position I'm in, I'm giving you wise counsel based on wisdom. And that wisdom is applied knowledge because of the stripes um, and the things that I've learned in life. Because after all, I learned the majority of everything I've learned in life basically from the pain that I, I have personally experienced. And my job is to try to do whatever I can to whoever has the ears to hear to lessen that pain. And I found out by living by that Bible, um, not having my own personal opinion and sticking it above the word of Yah that's in that book, but I found out by embracing the truths that is in that scripture and living by them um, as, as simply bought forth a life of peace. Um, and, and that's the greatest um, the greatest test of the fruit of the spirit or being at peace here in this universe. So um, there's many mistakes that I made because I didn't have the information put before me as a parent, as a father, uh, as a pastor, as a leader. Uh, but as I continue to keep going on, uh, the mistakes that I do make, I try my best to convey and communicate those mistakes to the people that are coming behind me uh, who are listening to me and those who are following me as I follow Christ so that they can minimize their stakes because, you know, the people I married uh, in the Hebrew way, the Hebrew way, um, their marriages are very successful, very peaceful, very honorable. I'm sure that they have um, ups and downs just like anybody else, but nowhere near like if you were raised in a society like I was where nobody taught you anything. Uh, nobody was an example, you know, for you for anything. Nobody set you down and showed you why you should do certain things a certain way and then give you the options to consider what's said. Uh, most of us, all we've done was acquiesce to the people um, that's right next to us who are just yeah, basically no better than we are. We haven't had uh, mothers uh, for the, the women we married teach them, and then they didn't have the women to teach them. Um, so ultimately, we've all learned um, a bad attitude, bad life, bad experiences, uh, bad ways to respond and bad way to carry ourselves from the people who have had influence on us. And that's just something to be the world. And so we have to actually get the world out of us. But uh, mostly man is inherently selfish and stuff. So, you know, to be productive in life, 
um, is, is to actually be able to give sound counsel and wisdom to those that are coming behind you so they can experience a whole lot less pain uh, in their lives um, because that would actually bring a lot of joy and peace to yours. Um, so again, uh, when I say I'm not perfect, uh, that's not an admission of guilt. That's just a statement of fact because nobody else is either. Uh, but I am trying my best to be impeccable in character, I'll be a man of my word, and I really, truly am that, a man of my word. Um, and that, and that, what's, that is what makes me impeccable in character, and that's the reason why it's easy for people to believe me because they see the fruit. You know, you see the fruit. The one thing, you may not, a lot of people, you know, I, I'm a, what people will call a, a speaker that penetrates deep down into the very soul, the heart of man. And I, I do, I have my, my set of people um, that hate me, that they're, they're my enemies, they're jealous of me, they're very envious of me. Uh, and that's the only reason for their attack because I personally have never ever did these people wrong. I know what to do if I do somebody wrong. I know how to go make it right. Um, but, you know, again, there's just people you just simply cannot be at peace with. There's just no way that you're going to do it. You just ain't going to do it. Um, but I would suggest more than anything um, that you try to be a positive influence on people's lives, uh, even including the mistakes you made. You learn from them. Don't sit up there and make excuses, wallow in self-pity, wallow in self-sorrow and self-defeatism. Um, um, and and uh, because you can't go back and change anything that you've done, you're only responsible for today. Uh, you can repent for the things of yesterday, but your perfection process is today. You're responsible for what you do today and going forward from this day forward. That's the reason why a lot of people um, listen to me because they know I'm a man of integrity. They know I'm a man of my word um, and they see the demonstration of my word. Um, I remember um, last, we're coming up almost a year, last January, that myself, brother Darrell and brother JC, we took off and went to Shofar Mountain with Pastor Fox. Um, we went up there in the dead of winter um, and no electricity is, is available. And we stayed up there for the better part, I think four or five days. Uh, in other words, what we did is we sacrificed ourselves, our time, we sacrificed our time, we sacrificed ourselves and our own inconvenience. And we, I mean, we inconvenienced our own self to go up there to be a benefit for a friend, for a brother and a pastor in the most high. Um, and we went up there, we, um, um, I've done a lot of backhoe work outside. You can actually go back in the archives, look in the videos. It's somewhere posted in January. We work long hours from sun up and then well past when the daylight was down to sundown. We dug, um, I was on the backhoe doing that. We dug footings. Uh, we actually built a dining hall floor. Um, I mean, all, all those things. Um, uh, and, and we did it because, you know, it's very important to cultivate friendships, good friendships. And, and, and it's pretty easy to be a good friend of Pastor Fox and Sister Kate because they're just wonderful people, uh, classy people, just wonderful people to be around. And let's just face the fact, some people are just not wonderful to be around. They're very uh, unhealthy and, and you get no pleasant, no pleasantries or no joy whatsoever at all. And of course, if you choose to stick around in an environment like that, then go ahead and do it. Uh, but it's going to be unhealthy for you. It's not going to benefit you. It's not going to benefit your character and nature. If you're going to be strong, you're going to have to listen to people who are strong. If you're going to be wise, you have to listen to a wise man. You don't listen to a fool and become wise. Just like you don't take financial advice. You do not take financial advice from somebody who's broke and somebody who is in debt and somebody who, who uh, owes everything to somebody else. You don't do that. You take sound advice from those, not only if they preach, but they live it. Um, and that's how you know that people believe what they say is when they live what they what they say. Um, and by their fruit, remember, fruit. Always inspect the fruit. Uh, not the delivery, because I have a very harsh delivery to some people. It's amazing, though. You know, I've been preaching for the better part of 20 years. Um, and it's amazing. It is all amazing how that I can say, I can preach a sermon, and you have a group of people over here take it one way, and another group of people take it over here the other way. Of course, I understand what's happening because it all depends on the condition of the heart. It depends on what people have chosen to believe to receive in their heart. So, hey, um, this is not about self-pity. This is not about self-hatred. This is not about self-abuse. This is not about anything. This is about self-improvement. This is about going to the next level. This is about being impeccable in your character, being a man and a woman of your word. That's the best thing you can do. Mean what you say, say what you mean. And whatever you can do, make sure in front of your children, 
who are going to be watching you, that you represent someone of the kingdom of the most high that they themselves can actually mimic. And then when they get married and they have their families, their families will be a whole lot better than the experiences that you and I have experienced in our life. Shalom. Have a good day.